So I was at the range earlier today to confirm the zero on my AR-15, and I thought it would be a good opportunity to talk about something that I think every rifle owner should know about. It's called mechanical offset, and it affects all firearms to some degree, but it's especially an issue with ARs and other modern semi-automatic rifles where the sights or the optics are positioned a couple of inches above the bore. So here's what that means. I've got this AR zeroed for 50 yards. I just confirmed that with a five shot group. I aimed for the center of the bull and that's where my rounds are going. My point of aim is the same as my point of impact. Now let's see what happens if I try to do the same thing at three yards, same rifle, same ammo, same optic. I'm using the black paster for my aiming point and all my rounds are hitting consistently about two and a half inches low. That is simply because my optic is physically higher than the barrel and that is what is referred to as mechanical offset or height over bore. I repeated that exercise with the paster at five, seven, 10, 15 and 25 yards and you can see that the further out I go, the less that mechanical offset affects my point of impact. It doesn't really change much between three and 10 yards. At 15 yards, it's still an inch and a half, and at 25, it's down to half an inch, which for all practical purposes is nothing to worry about. Now those exact numbers are gonna change depending on the rifle and the ammo and how you've got it zeroed, but you're probably gonna see similar results, especially within about 10 or 15 yards. This is not specific to magnified optics. Mechanical offset still has to be taken into account if you're running a red dot or iron sights. The only time it's not really gonna be noticeable is if you've got sights that are really close to the bore like you would see uh, on iron sights on a shotgun or a lever action rifle or a bolt action. But then if you take that same bolt gun and you put like a big three to nine power scope on it, your height over bore is gonna be two inches or more, and then mechanical offset becomes an issue at close range. Whether that offset is actually something that will make any real difference to you kinda of depends on what you're using the rifle for. It's a common topic in the context of training for combat or home protection. If you're trying to make a headshot or you've got a threat that's partially obscured and you need to hit a small target at close range, then you really have to know what your offset is and compensate for it. But mechanical offset has a lot of relevance outside of that context. It'll come up in action shooting competitions like three gun matches where you might have rifle targets out at 200 yards or at five yards. Hunters certainly need to have a good understanding of it. I don't do a ton of hunting myself, but I've done enough of it to know that the animal doesn't always appear out there somewhere where you expect. Sometimes they just pop up a few feet away and having your round impact two inches low might have a serious effect on how that animal responds to being shot. Another big way that mechanical offset is really important is when you're shooting around potential obstacles. So whether that's sandbags on a bench rest or shooting around cover or from inside a deer blind, you have to remember that just because you have a clear line of sight to your target through your optic or your sights, that doesn't mean that your muzzle is clear of obstructions. I saw a video just yesterday where there's a guy shooting in like a training class or a match or something like that. He's seated inside a car and he's firing his AR-15 at a target out of the open driver's side window and then he swings over to shoot another target and you can see that he's got a clear line of sight but right in front of his muzzle is the side view mirror which promptly explodes in his face when he fires. And I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the gentleman on YouTube a few years ago who was using the front of his truck as a rifle rest and he ends up putting a round through his hood because he forgot about the offset. And that brings me to my next point. It's not enough to just know the offset of your rifle. It has to be something that you practice until compensating for it is second nature. I am sure that both of those guys I just mentioned were well aware of the concept of mechanical offset but in the heat of the moment, they just forgot about it. If we are gonna be shooting around obstacles or engaging targets at extreme close range, usually we're talking about situations where time is a critical factor. So we can't plan on having the luxury of actively thinking about offset. It has to be baked into our subconscious. And the only way to get that is through a lot of repetitions at the range and with dry fire. Now I know somebody is gonna ask if I've got a rifle and it's mainly for home defense and I don't have a shot anywhere in my house that's longer than let's say 10 yards. Why don't I just zero my rifle for 10 yards and forget about mechanical offset? There are a few reasons that's probably not a great idea. First, 
the sights or your optic on your gun might not be mechanically capable of zeroing that close. I've never actually tried it myself, but I would imagine it's not gonna always work. Even if it is possible, you're still gonna have to deal with offset because at closer range, like five yards, you're not getting around the fact that there is a physical distance between the optic and the bore. So you can't eliminate offset just with a close zero. The other problem is that a 10 yard zero basically makes the rifle unusable for any distance beyond 10 yards. If I take the specs and the ammo for the rifle that I've got zeroed at 50 yards and I plug that into a ballistic calculator with a 10 yard zero, I would be hitting three inches high at 25 yards, eight inches high at 50, a foot and a half high at 100, and more than two and a half feet high at 200. Now compare that to a 50 yard zero, where my rounds are gonna hit within two inches of my point of aim at any range between about 10 yards and 200 yards. Or if you prefer a 100 yard zero or the traditional 25, 300 meter battle sight zero, it's the same kind of thing. Your rifle becomes much easier to use at longer ranges at the small expense of having to compensate for offset at close range. So if you plan to use the rifle for anything other than that 10 yard home defense scenario, then you probably don't wanna zero it for that distance. So if you haven't already, get out to the range and figure out the mechanical offset for your rifle. And when you run out of ammo, be sure to get some more from us with lightning fast shipping at luckygunner.com.